I'm Catherine Fulvio and I'm here to support goodgrub.ie, a fantastic initiative delivering fresh fruit and vegetables to family in need all over Ireland in the current crisis. And I got a sample of a delivery today and what I have in here is some lovely apples and I have potatoes, carrots and I have some onions. So I thought based on that I'd show you how to make some soups but no ordinary soups. We're going to do something magic with the soups. We're going to get them to meet in the middle. We're going to do potato soup and a carrot soup. Watch this space. This is definitely something that families can do together. So let me put these aside because I've already done a bit of the chopping, slicing and dicing. To make these soups, all you need are some onions chopped, peel your potatoes and chop them, peel your carrots and chop them, bit of butter, bit of oil. That's all, everything that you'd have at home. I have these saucepans, they're just beginning to warm up. I'm putting a drop of oil in and I can turn the temperature up a little bit now. So I thought these would be great recipes to make with the children. Of course, there are sharp knives involved, so do be careful, um, but you'll know the right jobs to give the kids around the house. There's a bit of butter going in, into both saucepans, and we just let that butter melt. So the trick in making a really good soup is actually to soften the onions first. So you cook them until they're really, really soft. They go almost glassy and then you're good to go. So this is ready, and in goes our onion. And I love making soups because eating fruit and veg is so good for you, and if you could make sure that you get your five a day, every day, it'll really, really help nutrition-wise and health-wise. So we're gonna cook our onions until they're lovely and soft. So a nice low heat, I'd say honestly about maybe five minutes first. So just be patient and let them soften. So our onions are lovely and soft now. This is perfect for the job. The reason you soften them like this is they're gonna bring a layer of sweetness to your soup, which you will love. So we have our carrots ready and we have our potatoes ready. And you know what, it's important to get a variety of color into your diet, especially when you're talking fruit and veg. So kind of look at all the colors and look at what you have in the fridge and just make sure you eat plenty of oranges and bananas and apples and all of these kind of lovely, lovely fruits and then these delicious vegetables here. Experiment a little bit, see how you get on. Spuds are gone in. Now for the carrots, I have this little spice called cumin. You could put a bit of curry powder in as well if you'd like carrot and curry soup. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that in. Not too much, because it's quite strong in flavor. I'll move to a new wooden spoon for this one and in go the carrots. Now all you do is you just mix everything together and then you cover it in chicken stock or vegetable stock and you just leave it to cook until the veggies are soft. It is that easy to make a nutritious homemade soup. Now let me get the stock. So you can just use a nice stock cube and add some hot water to it. Pour in the stock into your saucepans, cover your veggies, Try not to spill it all over yourself like me. There we go. Now all we need to do is bring that to the boil, then turn it down, let it simmer until the veggies are soft and you'll know they're done when if you push them up against the side of the saucepan with the spoon, they break up. Then you're good to go and then we just blend them. So this is a really easy recipe, but the magic is at the end. So I've just blended all of the soup. Carrot soup is done. And the potato soup is just done. I think the potato soup needs a little bit of thinning out. So I'm just gonna put a drop of milk in it. Again, another nutritious little thing to add. We just put it, drop in and then warm it through. And that'll make it nice and creamy as well. Now for the magic. I promise you magic. We have our soup bowl. Any soup bowl, any dish will do. And I have two jugs, that's all you need. Two jugs with a pouring lip on them. And we'll get our heat off here now and we pop in our soup into the jugs. So we're putting in our potato soup in here. So remember all that was in here was just your onion, your potato, stock cube, and we finished it with a bit of milk. So I'm starting with the lighter colored soup. And then I can use the same little ladle in the carrot soup, the darker colored soup. Now I have my soup bowl over here and I am going to pour 
both soups together at the same time. What do you think of that? Isn't that a bit of fun? And you're getting, what, three veggies in the one go. Look at the color of it. Really, really good for you. And then we just get a spoon and it's the handle of a spoon and you do a little swirl. So you can get all fancy because I think this would be really nice to um, engage the children in cooking. Maybe they, they'd like to do this just once they're not handling things that are too hot, that's appropriate for their age group. That's perfect. Look at that. Is that fancy or what? Now I have a bit of a garden down here where I live and I grow my own herbs. So I have a little bit of parsley here and I just think parsley is lovely. So we pop that in there. That's my duo of soups, my two soups, which is carrot and cumin soup and then my potato soup. So it looks pretty fancy, but you know yourself, you saw the video. This is really easy to do. So I hope you try and make it at home. And for this recipe and lots more recipes, go to goodgrub.ie. Thanks for watching.